Hello and welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to take a look at something I've been working at over the last couple of weeks. What I've done is I've found some Oculus Touch controller models and rigged them in VR so that when you press the buttons you get a little bit of visual response in your game. Let's take a look. So for those of you that didn't catch up my last video or my latest video, I was demonstrating how I was putting something together as a VR educational game and um, just so children of about six years and up could learn to spell and do it in a really nice kind of VR environment. And that got me thinking about how you interact with the controllers and making stuff kind of really accessible and easy to use. So I wanted to bring in the actual controller models into my VR scene so that um, if I actually referenced any buttons then you could look down in VR and see what button you had to press. And then you'd also get some visual feedback on what button you're pressing by having it glow or something like that. So I actually found um, some controller models online on the Oculus website, because this is done for the Oculus Quest. I go down here, whoa, I'll zoom you right out. Where's my controllers? Not even on, there we go. So I've got a controller model here, and if I press Shift H, I'll isolate that selection. Handy little tip for those of you that didn't know you could do that. Uh, and you can see here I've got my um, controller. Uh, and I actually took this into 3D, into 3DS Max, and extracted the buttons and made them as separate little entities, if you like. And um, what happens is when they press the button, you get this kind of glow effect on the button that they're pressing. That's just toggling the mesh render off and on. And all that's controlled through the controller button visibility script that I've got sitting on each controller and we'll go through that in a second but let's jump into VR and you can see this in action. Okay so here we are in VR hopefully you can see my controllers okay um, in front of me on the screen and as you can see as I press the buttons you get some visual feedback on what button is being pressed and I think this will really help especially like a younger audience in getting used to the controllers and the buttons and where they are they can look down and they can see which button they have to press and just experiment with pressing different buttons until they get the right one. And what's cool about this is as well is that you can also highlight buttons like say for instance you want them to grab an object if they don't intuitively know what button it is to press and we can like flash it on the controller like this and then that gives them a visual indicator of what button they need to find in order to say pick something up. And that likewise for teleporting as well. Um, I, in this particular scenario, I've got these three puzzles in front of me and I'm gonna to say to the, the user that they have to press the A button to go between each location. So the user can look down at the controllers. Think, oh, okay, where's the A button? No, not that one, not that one. Oh, there it is, A, and they can press it and they get a bit of visual feedback there too. As well as being able to kind of like flash it for them to know which button it is to press it on the controllers. And I don't really think in this, in certain scenarios it will be important to be able to actually like see your hands but for games like this where it's more focused on the learning and the education and the environment that um, actually the hands aren't too much of a focus and um, it actually is beneficial to have the controllers in the scene and maybe once you get used to um, the controllers and how they function you could have perhaps have a menu option where you can turn your hands back on or maybe have a button that will toggle your hands on and off so that's what I've been working on and I'll go ahead and show you how that's all controlled through the script. So let's hop into Visual Studio and we can take a look at that now. Like a little disco on your hands. Noise. So let's have a look at this script that's sitting on the controllers. So I'll go ahead and click on the controller button visibility script. And this is actually a really simple script and uh, actually uh, more repetitive than anything else. Uh, and it uses the input actions for this particular setup, which is the new input system um, for Unity, or newer input system. And you can see here, I've got some serialized fields, which are the input action references for the button presses, and also the mesh renderers for the buttons that I extracted from the models. And then on awake, we're just listening for those actions to be performed or canceled. So we're talking on or off. And then we also have an on disable as well, uh, which is stopping listening for those particular events. 
And then I've got these regions which are just literally um, as soon as like the grip is pressed, then the grip pressed method is called. And all we're doing is we're changing the renderer to be enabled and then disabled when it's cancelled. And this does that for all the buttons. So really simple, um, but I think really effective as well. And then you can see here we've got all our buttons. These are all the input actions that have been created. And then you've got the, the, the buttons here, which are all linked in the left controller prefab. So this is actually available. I'm going to make this available on my Patreon page. I'll do a little demo scene so it can all be tested out as well. If you aren't a patron or you don't want to be, then you can always get the models for free from the Oculus website. And I'll put a link up to that in the description as well. You just have to go onto, you have to bring that into your, like your 3D package and just extract the buttons so that you can change their colors independently. Thanks for watching this video and if you found it useful, it'd be really great if you could leave a like and maybe consider a subscription if you've enjoyed it. But that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.